The valves used in a water distribution system generally fall into one of the following categories. There are gate valves, there are globe valves, needle valves, pressure relief valves, air and vacuum relief valves, diaphragm valves, pinch valves, rotary valves, butterfly valves, or check valves. The gate valve is the most commonly used valve in water distribution systems. They are designed to start and stop flow, and they're not used to throttle flow. The disc is raised into the bonnet, and there's minimal head loss when the valve is open. Large gate valves have equalizing lines or bypass valves for use prior to opening so that the gate is not damaged. There are many different types of gate valves, including the rising stem, the non-rising stem, the horizontal gate valve, the resilient wedge gate valve, the tapping valves, cutting in valves, and inserting valves along with slide valves. So all of these different types of valves are considered gate valves. Globe valves are a different type of valve, and household faucets are typically globe valves. Globe valves are not well suited for distribution system mains because of the high head loss within the globe valve. They're used where head loss is not a concern, but they can be used to throttle flow and control downstream pressure in high pressure, high flow situations. Needle valves are similar to globe valves in their design. A main difference is the seating surfaces. A relatively long tapered metal shaft fits into a tapered seat, and this allows slight changes in the allowable flow area as the valve is opened. These valves are used for precise throttling applications such as hydraulic valve actuator lines. Pressure relief valves are also designed much like globe valves. The main difference is that the disc is held against the seat by spring pressure. The spring can be adjusted to lift at a certain pressure, which will reduce the system pressure. Once the pressure is reduced, spring tension will overcome system pressure and close the valve. Another variation of the globe valve design is the diaphragm valve. System pressure exerts a force on a diaphragm and assists in closing the valve. The altitude valve is the most commonly used type of diaphragm valve. Pinch valves are operated by pinching shut a flexible interior liner. These valves are limited in their use and are only available in relatively small sizes. Pinch valves are used for throttling corrosive liquids or liquids that might clog other types of throttling valves. Plug valves and ball valves are the two main types of rotary valves used in water systems. Both valves require only one quarter turn to fully open or fully close the valve. Small plug valves are used as curb stops and corporation stops. Large plug valves are used in high pressure applications such as high lift pump discharges. Plug valves can be used to throttle flow without causing valve damage. Ball valves are very similar to plug valves, except the seating element is a sphere rather than a plug. Both ball and plug valves are used as service connection isolation valves. A butterfly valve has a disc that rotates on a shaft within the valve body. When it is fully open, the disc is parallel to the axis of the pipe with water flowing on both sides of the disc. Although the head loss is higher than that of a gate valve, it is more easily opened against pressure since the force on the disc is equalized. A butterfly valve may be used for throttling under low flow and low pressure conditions, but this is not its primary function. Check valves are designed to only allow flow in one direction. They're commonly used to prevent backflow through idle pumps, and they're also used to maintain prime on centrifugal pumps by keeping water from draining out of the pump casing and uncovering the impeller. This type of valve is called a foot valve. The sudden closing of a check valve can cause water hammer in a distribution system. 
To minimize hydraulic shock to the system, a special check valve called a cushion swing check may be used. Counterweights are used to slow the closing of the check valve to minimize the hydraulic transient on the system that can be created by the check valve closing too fast.